In a town called St. Genis Poili in Switzerland, there is what physicists around the world call their holy grail, CERN. It is a large hadron collider that is recreating, basically by clashing particles together, the origins of the universe, like the Big Bang. They want to know how the universe started, what's going on, and they are also and have found what is called, they dub, the God Particle, the Boson Higgs Particle. You know, there's a lot of marvelous stuff going on there. Nevertheless, one of the side effects of this, and I'm starting to believe it's not even a side effect because some of them have been talking about how it's necessary to make them to understand other dimensions, is they create what we call mini black holes. Now, black hole, you know, black holes, they are actually like tears through time space, the fabric of space time. And the gravity, if you don't know, is so intense that even photons that have no mass. Now, remember, E equals MC squared, and the M is what? Mass. Okay, well, do that equation and put zero right where the M is. The whole thing turns into zero. Nevertheless, even photons that just have dimension and no mass at all get pulled into this, these black holes. Now, it was drawn to my attention yesterday, and I must share this little interview clip of this CERN scientist, physicist from Europe discussing these black holes and the ramifications of them. Because there has been, as bizarre as it sounds, and I admit it sounds bizarre, you know, a black hole, once it starts sucking anything in, even if it's many, Whatever the matter is, it sucks in. It grows, grows, grows. With more matter, it sucks in and it gets bigger and sucks in more matter. And so there have been people around the world who are like, these black holes, what if you can't contain them? What if you can't? I mean, eventually what? They would even suck in everything and keep growing into some big black hole that would suck in even what we call the Earth here and the planet. So let's hear what CERN has to say about that in this interview here. That many black holes, if they are generated, which no one knows, but which has a certain probability, people disagree about the probability, but I would say it's about 1 to 12 with this new energy level. And uh, the question is then whether they are dangerous or not. Well, wait, so and, the, well, the uh, question is, that, no, is it a, is it a yeah. 1 in 12 probability of us being swallowed up by a black hole or something else you see it will take a while it won't swallow the earth within months or seconds it will take at least five years but still such a uh, such an outlook is something that should be discussed heavily before going ahead and this discussion which needs one week among scientists ac across the world uh, could be done and I think has to be done you did just hear what was said in this interview. A 1 out of 12 chance. That's 8% chance. And the good news is, once it gets started, it would probably take at least 5 years for it to swallow the whole Earth. Now, he does say that scientists haven't come to a complete consensus about the probability of that. So that basically also means they don't know. And to speculate whether a black hole is, we don't know if it's dangerous or not, um, then why are you playing with it? You don't think black holes are dangerous, but you know what they are. You know, it's amazing to me. So I think here he says, it will, you know, it will take up to a, a week for scientists to get together. And so they, they just need a week, these scientists, to decide for all of what they see as the Earth and the population, whether they should proceed with this experiment and what's going on there. Do you hear that? I don't understand. Even when you have a president of the United States or all of these international leaders, you what are you doing? You think that's because it's done at CERN, you are willing to risk all of us at a 1 of 12 chance. 
Are we voting on this as a world, or the scientist elite just getting together, the intelligentsia, and figuring out our destiny for us? Do you think we cannot choose, or we're not smart enough? To me, and this is a judgment statement, so I apologize for it. It's an opinion, I should actually say. They sound like mad scientists. Why are they so bent and determined to do this with risks that are tremendous? You don't think 8% is tremendous? They're betting on the life of every one of us. And as what it seems here, you're turning your power over to them. And I don't know why you would do that but evidently that's what's going on. Many of you say that they're scientists, so they must know. Okay, well, let's use this as an example of what's going on. You have a perfectly, imagine you have a perfectly well child, a son or a daughter, healthy, bodies functioning appropriately, just, it's just wonderful, in full health. And a scientist comes and says, we want to know how your child works, the body and everything. So we will have an elective exploratory surgery, but I want you to know up front, there is a one out of 12 chance your child won't survive because of this. Would you do it? Then I don't understand why you do that to the earth. Now, as far as fear of death, I'm a very spiritual person. And so that isn't what is concerning me here. It is just this whole scenario that when the world population of seven, over seven billion is presented with this information, that's how you handle it. Wow, a hypothetical alien species from another world would go, my goodness, my goodness. I, I don't understand, it almost seems insane. Let's talk about the site where CERN is located because I find this to be quite significant and a bit odd. If I was an atheist, I'd even say, wow, you know, that is a bit bizarre. When you look up the history of this town where a large part, the largest part of uh, CERN is located, St. Genis Apoli, you'll find, as you Google the history, Google the town's name and put history, that it is connected to what they call Apoliacum. And Apoliacum, as you read further, is connected to what they believe is Apollyon. Now, who is this guy? Well... Supposedly at one time, either that town was dedicated toward that god or was going to be. Whichever the case is, that is, in Hebrew, the equivalent to Abaddon, the devil, and the keys who in the, talk about in the book of the scriptures as far as Judeo-Christians are concerned, the one who has the keys in the bottomless pit and death and hell. Now, I don't understand because I look at the other towns around in Europe. Why did they choose this specific place? Not to mention also, as you start going through the information and processing and looking and researching for yourself, it is also connected to the horned god. And it is CERN, Kern, C-E-R-N one of the horned gods, the green god, the horned god of Europe. Do you see that? Out of all the acronyms. Plus, they are known, CERN on its site is known for its huge religious statue, which very few scientists and different, I mean, honestly, a religious statue of the god Shiva, the destroyer the goddess of destruction, which is the Hindu version of the devil too. Did you know Shiva is the god, the destroyer, the goddess of, that's of destruction? She is known in Hinduism as the devil. Got it? So now we have a direct tie to the devil as far as Eastern religion goes, of destruction, the destroyer, plus Kern, or Cern, the horned god of Europe, plus Apollyon, plus here's something else, and this is bizarre. Whether it was staged or not, I watched the film and it was viral on the internet and went around. At one point, a bunch of people got on the CERN property where the Shiva site was and either acted out or did 
because they don't have proof that they didn't do this for real. A real live human sacrifice ritual. Now, either they were faking it, but why would they reenact it? Right in front of the Shiva statue. There's a lot of bizarre things going on with that land. And then we think about bottomless pit, black hole, destruction. We start putting it together and anybody that has a rational mind, even if you say that's a lot of conjecture, a lot of circumstantial evidence about the history of that place. You know what? I don't really think so because evidently they believe it too. Otherwise explain why they have the Hindu goddess uh, or goddess Shiva, which is their version of the devil. CERN, the acronym just happens to be after the horn god of Europe. And the place is Apollyon, Abaddon, Abaddon. How do you pronounce it in, in, in Hebrew? It's for the devil. Yep. And I am still concerned. I'm calm CERN against CERN. <laughs> Syllabically speaking in English, the word CERN means to sift. I am concerned about why people would hear the information that I've shared here or what scientists have said about black holes. And they haven't come to a consensus about this. And they even have some now saying one out of 12 chances and it will take five years to suck the whole world in. The whole earth. And people aren't taking that serious. They're telling us they don't really know. And to mess with the fabric of, of space-time, trying to puncture it, trying to go to other dimensions, which they're doing, or wanting to do and saying could happen if it hasn't already. An important other thing is I know that their logo has that circle with the spikes coming out. and. You know, I understand that. I know what their answer is to that. But isn't that bizarre? Look at it. Do you see three sixes in there? Someone said they saw two nines and three sixes. I don't know about that. But you need to do some research because why would they choose something? And you should have seen the first one they chose. That they never actually did, but it, and that's out there too. Why is it associated? It looks just so odd. 666. Why'd you go out of your way to do that too, sir? Are you trying to tell us something? Because I'm listening. And I wonder if the rest of us are too. Now, here's another story. I don't know if this is true. This, I don't know. There is a lot of fake news out there, and I admit that. And so, you might want to do your research on this one. But supposedly, I know this sounds odd, rumor has it, and yes, I will say rumor, but there are some news sources that claim that this is true, and we all know how that goes. Actually, one science did get pulled, a scientist did get pulled in. You know, I wouldn't be so surprised because no matter how small it is, when you pass into that event horizon, you feed it right there. And when one piece of you, no matter how small, it's going to take in everything else. Okay, so just a lot of bizarre stuff. I would love to hear your comments on all of this. Thank you for listening.